Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video we are going to build one image processing application using our MATLAB app designer. Okay, so go to new, click on app, our app designer will open, it will, it may take some few seconds. Okay, so here uh, our blank app designer design view is opened, in code view there are some initialization code is written which we cannot change or modify okay and this is our main workspace so what i'll be doing i want to create one application first where user will be taking one image then we'll be adding noise salt and paper noise in that image and then we'll be using our median filter to remove that noise and display okay so three uh, different figure window will be formed in our app one will be original image display another one is noise image display another one is our um um that image after noise removal okay so i am going to axis i am taking my first axis i am taking my second axis and here i am taking my third axis three different buttons i am taking one button is for taking one image second button is for adding noise in it and third button is for noise removal okay here in title we can give original image okay and in this title noisy image okay and in this title i can give image after removing noise okay here x axis and y axis not required right because we are displaying image Correct. So in image x axis y axis display is not required. That is very important if you are plotting something as graphics part. Okay. This button, let me write here the change the name. Take an image. Okay. This button to uh, let me put add noise. Okay. And in button three image after noise removal right okay so this will be more or less our user interface structure now let us go to take an image go to callback create your function so i will be taking this code from this video discussion where i have created same kind of application but in gui okay so if i go below like I have specified the code here the uh, for this video also I'll be sharing the code if you want you can take all right I'll be explaining what is that code but first let me do some modifications here here let me align properly so what I am doing using UI get file I am reading one image okay here instead of writing like this I can write we can image right then uh, for any file there is some directory name and then file name okay so path name and file name both i am combining using string concatenation and then reading the file from there okay and here i am using i am show a right now the thing is that if you simply write i am show a it will be creating one new figure window outside our app designer but i want to show that image in this particular first axis right so if you explore the documentation here you can see if you want to do like this we have to specify like this parent comma app dot ui axis key value pair we have we need to pass so i'll be copying that and pasting here comma parent app dot ui axis so here you can see app dot ui axis is present app dot ui axis 2 app dot ui axis 3 like this are present okay so the uh, in which axis you want to display uh, you just write that one as writing parent okay this is how you can display image in app designer uh, platform right now the thing is that image we are reading showing in first axis all right but when we will be pressing our second button that is this one add noise that time in the add noise callback the image which we have taken uh, by pressing the first button should go that is in between two different functions communication should happen for that i'll be making this particular 
uh, variable global a so this will be global variable which can be accessed by all the uh, different different callback function okay and global a i am using and a equal to i am read file name so this a is basically this global a okay so the image is stored in this global variable now we can easily access from other function callback also i am going to add noise clicking on callback and add button pushed function callback so this particular is used for adding noise so if i show you the code here only simple line like this i am copying and pasting here i am noise j comma salt and pepper 0.4 if j is my original image i can add salt and pepper noise using i am noise okay and here i can show that image also i am show j parent app dot ui axis 2 because in second axis we want to display our noise image but this j has to be taken right so for that we will be writing j equal to a okay j equal to a means from the global variable a whatever image we have taken in the first uh, callback we will be taking that but there can be a variable which whose scope is local also that is in somewhere a local variable of a like that we have defined to avoid this kind of confusion you have to write like this global a okay so this will indicate this a variable which i am using is nothing but my global a variable not local all right and the last stage is image after noise removal i am going to call back add button pushed i am going to my actual code here this single line we have used for removing our noise and this midfield 3 is the function because our color image we are taking so which is three dimensional so midfield 3 we are using okay so i am show p parent app dot ui axis 3 in the third axis we want to display but we need to take j so for that here we are defining another global variable global j okay so global j variable can be accessed here right so here we will be writing global j so what i am doing global j that means this j variable whatever we are taking there is global variable j right save as app one saved let's hope that our code should work so this is our ui figure window take an image image taken so see this is our original image we can add noise see noisy image i hope you can understand salt and paper noise is added image after noise removal if i click see uh, the noise is removed in a very good way but there's still some small amount of noise will obviously there okay so this is the complete application uh, for image processing domain if you are working then this particular discussion i hope will be helpful to create uh, apps using matlab app designer then you can uh, create standalone app and deploy to your customers or for your project you can do like this okay because deployment is also a very important part of our project complete life cycle right so i hope you have enjoyed if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you